warm up. John Shrek McPhee, we've been talking for what, a couple months now. Yeah. And uh, so before all these, I like to do a, a quick warm up. Okay. Everybody's fascinated to know what you're carrying, mm. what you do for home defense. What do you want to talk about? You want to talk EDC or home defense? Hit me with one of them. I don't care. I got it all. I got you covered like a Jimmy hat. You know what I mean? Let's go. What do you think, Kimball? Home defense. Let's home do defense. home defense. Okay. What do you do? What, what's, your, what's your primary weapon system for home defense? Yeah, I would say this is uh, my defense is layered, right, first and foremost. And the first thing I'd like to say about my home defense is I'm not clearing my house. That's an off- That's offensive moves. That takes three to one to get someone out of a f-ing house. This is a deep defense. I strong point, right? So I could be at a strong point with a broom and f- up anyone who comes in my house. You know what I mean? It's about owning the terrain, not about the weapon. Now, what do I carry? Generally, I keep, like anybody, I keep a pistol next to the bed that I can grab immediately. Uh, and that would be my primary, right? And From there, I'm only going to advance or retreat. If I retreat, I retreat to where the rifle is. Interesting. What is what is the handgun? uh, Normally, my EDC guns a a G48. Okay. The little the little Glock. What what is the 48? Is that Uh, a 38? Yeah, it's like. It's the one that's big enough to fit all your fingers mm-hmm. <laughs> long enough, right? And then it holds a uh, Glock 10 rounds where you can buy a 15-round mag. So basically, it's like a single-stack G19. But it's a 38. No, it's 9 mil. Oh, it is 9 mil. 9 mil. Okay. Yeah. Right on. 9 mil. I'm a 9 mil guy. So I get a question. If you're going to strong point, do you, do you have family members living mm-hmm. with you? Mm-hmm. Yes. I've had kids. Yes. Let's talk about this. Ask me. Okay, perfect. Where do your kids sleep in relation to you? So when you get to a strong point, which is normally on a single floor house, the master bedroom door will be a strong point. From there, generally, you could see the whole house, right? Now, kids' bedrooms are going to be one way, right? Garage is going to be another, vice versa. The layout's the layout. Here's what I would tell you is... Uh, always leave your kids in their room at night. Tell them not to come out of their room at night. Because what happens is, and I've seen this in Iraq millions of times, kids get f***ed up in breaches, shit like that. They hear a noise. They run out to check what the f*** it is, right? And they're in the middle of the gunfight. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, as parents, I would tell people, leave your kids in their rooms. And I'm telling you, as your kids get older and teenagers, they'll lock themselves in a room you'll never find. See them. It's great for my home defense. Um, so having said that, right, from the strong point, know where they sleep, know how tall they are, shoot on an upward angle. Okay. Well, I got a question. This is a range it. fan. That's all we're doing is setting a range fan, and we know where we can shoot and can't shoot ahead of time, just like you do a hostage target. So what about somebody like myself? I've got a toddler, mm-hmm. two-and-a-half-year-old, mm-hmm. and a six-month-old. And yeah. I cannot see the house from the master bedroom. What what did what does somebody do in that okay. situation? So first, can you make it to your first strong point? If yes, make it to there, assess the situation. Generally, when I make it to my strong point is I keep it dark, no lights. I do exterior lighting so everything from where I am is backlit. So you're anywhere you stand right especially if i get to my dark spot and then i would tell you have that next point that you move to i'm not clearing the house i'm not chasing people down i'm not getting close i move to point b and that's secure your kids perfect perfect makes sense it does now you make it to point a and shit's on you go backwards to a point b you drag them with you you take them into the deep water and then you rifle them all down in your bedroom because then when the story comes out they broke in this door and they were shot deep in the bedroom (laughs) clear intent Mm -hmm. you know what i mean i call that bringing people into the deep water good point good point i've not thought of that that's uh that's slick what about medical what kind of medical stuff do you keep on hand everything 
everything. You should, if you got a house, you should have some good meds. And I'm not just talking tourniquets, right? Like there's a lot of shit happens that people get hurt that doesn't require a tourniquet, sprained mm-hmm. ankles. Uh, so I would say keep a lot of shit on hand. And if you've been medically trained, have an aid bag, keep it up to date. I got one with me right now. I could solve a problem. Uh, have medical shit on hand. Also with medical shit goes pills, man. Ha- you know, have some cold medicines, have some all kinds of stuff, right? So I would say be- medically be prepared as possible. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And why not? What um, what kind of tourniquet do you use? I don't care. Doesn't don't even care. matter. Argue over it. Everyone I seen in Iraq get put on somebody, save someone life, whether it f-ing sucked or not. Right on. Is there ones that are easier than others? Yes. The deal is, it's not the tool; it's the preservation of life. Is it working enough to save someone's life? If yes, let's move on. Well, I got one for you. I got a little present for yeah. you. Yeah. So. I think it's over. Yeah, here it is. Tourniquet segue. You yeah, are here we go. I am. I, don't know. <laughs> I didn't even see that coming. This is uh, be great if I get it out of this thing. <laughs> but uh, so, have you heard of snake staff systems by chance? No. I think it's like. Don't quote me on this. I think it's like sixty percent smaller than the regular than the like, regular so cat tourniquets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, the interesting thing, and they don't really market this. Dom Razo kind of. Uh, got me on these guys. And uh, you know what I like about what they market is these fit kits. So a lot of those, the ones that we were using back in the day. They go so small. Yeah, they only get so small. And these, you can cinch all the way down, and it fits on toddlers, fits on dogs, pets. But, um, yeah, snake steps. I've had to do it. I've had to do a tourniquet on a, a baby before, and oh, I just kind of did it like mass trousers. I wrapped both the legs up tight, squeeze all the blood back to the body because I figured they don't got too much anyway. You know Man, what, I mean? what, what, uh, what were you doing? What, what's that scenario, if you don't mind me? Oh, asking? that was the worst night of my life. Was it? Yeah. Well, let's yeah. say before the show then. Well, I may not talk about it. I don't know if I'm ready. You know what I mean? I don't know if we got time. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, what about uh, deterrent systems? Just Deter- home deterrent. Yeah, just home oh. defense deterrent. What do you got? F- super simple. As far away from your home, early warning as you could f- get. What does that mean? The next door app. You seen this next door app? No. It's where Karens bitch about snakes <laughs> in the road. You know what I'm talking about? F- read the comments. They're that f- good. However. Your neighbors and their ring cameras and these little apps and these f-ing Karens that'll just f-ing rat you out for anything. You know, they know everything's going on in your neighborhood before the f-ing cops do. So any type, and then this is intel. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know this, right? You got to have the intelligence that leads you to whatever problem set or solution set. So, right? Uh, so I intel. can, I can, I cannot imagine John Shrek McPhee's comment section in the and next door app. I, I don't, I never comment. <laughs> I got to see I some screenshots of this shit. I just read the comments. I'm telling you. <laughs> but uh, as much as you can know about your neighborhood, Facebook groups, your sheriff, your police department has a Facebook group. Get on their shit. Because a lot of times they post shit like, we're looking for this white minivan. And what you don't know is when you go, you're like, huh, they're looking for a white minivan. You go on the next door app. People been catching that white minivan doing all kinds of John's shit. John's like, oh, shit, days. that's my white minivan. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, damn it, I got to get this thing wrapped now. You know what I mean? They're on to I'm me. I'm burned. Oh, they're on to me. I'm an outlaw. So the next door, anything else? Yeah. Driveway alarms, so, anything like that? Yeah, so as we get closer, right? So that next door app is the neighborhood, the you know, your sphere where you live, whatever, right? Uh, And then the next layer is the driveway alarm, right? If you had a long driveway, as soon as someone crosses your border into your shit, you should know. You know what I mean? Why? Because the earlier you know, the better off you're going to be. You know what I mean? So I would say driveway alarms, fence sensors. uh, Some guys do the laser down their fences, whatever it is. uh, Your outer perimeter your yard, your property line, whatever. I don't know how big their people's shit is, but uh, that should be easily marked. And if anyone comes on, 
you should know. Now, here's what I would say. If the Delta Force is going to come for you, you ain't stopping it. You know what I'm saying? You know this. You ain't stopping it. So there's only so much this shit could do. But someone's high on meth and trying to come kick in your front door or something. Yo, I knew that guy was coming 30 seconds before he got here. Yeah. Yeah. Huge advantage, right? So, you know, I'm not saying, you know, this defense will get you, you know, against the tier one. I mean, you probably outdo the FBI or any SWAT team with it. You know what I mean? But if the Delta Force wants you, you ain't stopping that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, early warning, driveway alarms as much as possible, ring cams, cameras, even f fake cameras, right? And then the natural shit, street lights, fucking dogs, dogs, yeah. right? And then um, those are like kind of the big things, I would say. Perfect, perfect. At what point would you call the police? Post. After everything's done. And my 911 call would sound like this and exactly this, because that shit's f***ing evidence also. There was an incident at this address. Send police immediately. I wouldn't say, I just shot this f***ing crackhead. I wouldn't say that. This is evidence. Or you could say, there's been a shooting, admitting to nothing. Good point. Good you point. know what I mean? Because that's going to be evidence as well, man. And like, and, and I'd say this, like, the average person I train, the average person I know, they don't break the law. And they're so f***ing honest. If something like that happened, they'd be like, the guy came in, and then I ran out there, and then he looked at me, and I shot him in the face, even though that might have been what happened. Like... This ain't the time to be telling someone that. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I'd say this, f***ing Americans lawyer up immediately. You don't talk to the FBI like Michael Flynn off the record. Mother we're not sitting in the same room. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So here's what I would tell the average person if something bad happened. Are you saying you don't trust the FBI? <laughs> I'm saying if they came for you, they probably wouldn't succeed in what they were doing. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any other advice for home defense? I think that covers it, man. That's pretty much the big stuff. I mean, if I was gonna, if I was gonna tell somebody something, those are the big things, you know. Hey, stop. The biggest thing I, I see is people think they have to clear the house. That's offensive moves. This is a defense. You could be smarter and do this alone. I mean, you've been, you've done training before. Sims training. One guy's holding everyone down, and he's just giggling back there, like. You guys. <laughs> and he's holding everyone back for a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why aren't you doing that in your house? Why isn't that more talked about? Good point. So Good point. your house is a defense. This is a defensive position. And think about like, like Vietnam, you're digging into the hill. You're going to have a forward position where if we had to advance to hold people off and you're going to have a backup where <laughs> this shit's fucked everyone back up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so you're going to have these fighting positions, and people talk about defense all the time, but it never really applies to home defense, and I don't know why. Probably because it's not cool. It don't look good on Instagram, you yeah. know what I mean? But it is effective. Yeah, yeah. Well, John, thank you for the advice. And, oh, you're uh, welcome. Let's get ready for, the, uh, for the interview. No matter where you're watching Sean Ryan's show from, if you get anything out of this, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, Share this everywhere you possibly can. And if you're feeling extra generous, please leave us a review on Apple and Spotify podcasts.